this is screencast 9 10.2 I'm trying to find this inertia tensor of a right angled isosceles triangle based prisms inertia tensor and I have supposed the length of uh, the length of the base and height of the triangle to be a and the height a, the height of the prism is a as well but I have done at first I have supposed is to be H and then later I supposed H equals to A and that's how I found the inner set answer so that it would be for both with different height and with same height as the base so, okay and this is a continuous object so the inertia tensor IJ component of the inertia tensor is given by integration over the volume of the density of that object times R square delta IJ minus R IJ this delta IJ is the Kronecker's delta so when I and J uh, component are same then it becomes 1 but when I is not equals to J this Kronecker delta becomes 0 so this term goes away when I and J are not equal. So, okay. The density of this object is mass over volume. I have supposed the mass to be M, and the volume is base area times height, and the base area is one half times A times A. So one half A square times H. So the density is two ma two times mass divided by A square H. Now, okay. I start to find in X X component of the inertia tensor. Then it's the density is constant, I can take it out of the integral. So, x, x, they are same, so i is equal to j. So, this Kronecker's delta becomes 1, so r square becomes x square plus y square plus z square. And on the other side, it's r i j. i is equal to j. It's both x components, so it becomes x square. So, x square from this r square and x square from this r i r j goes away, and what remains are y square plus z square and the volume component is dx dy dz and when I integrate this y square plus z square over the volume I get two thirds of mass over height a cube plus h cube similarly i x y now x and y are not same so i is not equals to j so this r square terms goes away and r i r z becomes minus x minus y sorry this minus r i r z becomes minus x y and the volume component so uh, when I integrate that minus xy over the volume component, I get minus ma square over 2. Similarly, ixz would be minus mah over 2. And iyx would be minus yx dv, and the density is outside. I would be getting, after integration, minus ma square by 2. Similarly, iyy component would be uh, integration over the density of x squared plus z squared times volume component and the com and the result is two third of mass a squared plus h squared. Similarly this is the yz component and this is gx component. Here it is gy component and this is gz component. So the inertia tensor with right angled isosceles triangle as base and height as h uh, when I put x x x y x z y x y y y z z y z sorry z x z y z z I'd be getting this as my inertia tensor. But in this case, I have supposed h to be height of the prism to be different. But when I suppose the height to be same as the base length, like a when h equals to a, then it would be in this form. For the diagonal components are now same and rest of the other components are same. So this is the inertia tensor of a right angled isosceles triangle prism base and height is same as one of the base side. And that's it. That's how we can find the inertia tensor of any continuous object.